What is up guys and welcome back to the Doc Mac Car Channel. This is my 2006 BMW 330i. Now this particular model is a pre-LCI model. Alright guys, so the problem we're having with this mirror today is that the mirror extends beyond its home position. So if I was to unlock the door, the mirror would go way beyond and turn this way. Now we're going to demonstrate it with a key. Alright, so I'm going to lock the car and as you can see, it's folding outwards and you'll hear a pop. There you go. So now it's going past the home position. So I believe there's a home pin inside here, which I'm going to open up and show you guys in a while. And that home pin is stuck and it is past its home position. You gotta first remove this cap. So I've just got a plastic card here. You can put any plastic card. Plastic on plastic will not usually damage. So what you need to do is you need to fit the card underneath like this. All right. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to pop it out. Like so. And then one more here. And then you wanna work your way around like that. And you'll hear it start to pop. There you go. I can already hear it pop. Now you can use a plastic pry tool, but I believe this card doesn't actually damage anything. And there you go. Now you've got a few wires here and they've got different functions. Now there's one of these wires which does actually control the folding of the wing mirror. Now the home pin, I believe, could be somewhere around here. And what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna to try to lubricate it first and then I'm gonna fold it in and out and we're gonna see if that makes any difference. So what we need to do is you can take any silicone spray, you can take some grease as well. Grease might be better, it, it'll be even there for longer. And you wanna have a little cloth here so that you do not actually pour anything onto the door. There's a hole right here where I'm pointing. We're trying to get it in there as well as just beneath here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna move the mirror, try to spray it in here. But what you do wanna get is around here. Now what you wanna do is you want to move the mirror back and forward. And you're gonna force the mirror. I know it sounds like you're breaking it and you probably are a little bit, but you don't have much of a choice. So I'm going to lubricate it down here. Small bursts will do, and some around here. That should be sufficient enough. Now I'm going to push the mirror all the way inside, and then I'm going to try to retract the mirror now. All right, guys, so what I've done now is I put the mirror to the inward position. So it's now matching the driver's side. My driver's side is on the right-hand side of the vehicle. And now what you want to do is you want somebody to go on to the driver's side and hit that button again, and then you're going to stop the mirror in its position. Okay, and hold the mirror. Okay, so we're going to hold it and then we're going to get the person to hit the button again and we're going to try to fold it back in hit the button again and then we're going to stop it okay and then we're going to hit the button again and then we're going to hit the button again extend and then try to stop it okay hit the button again Okay, and then hit the button again. We might have to do this a few times, guys. Now I'm gonna push the mirror all the way back in again and hit the button again. And then you'll hear a pop. Now this is the folded in position. Hit the button again. 
and then what we're going to do is we're going to try to force the mirror back so the options that you have for the mirror is quoted bursts of WD-40 here or some lubricant which I'd sprayed right here the home pin the home pin is actually located right here and that is where I'd actually sprayed some lubricant and I also sprayed some lubricant down this hole right there where I'm pointing now the way you can calibrate this is so let's say if you have the mirror like this push it all the way out and then you need to do the same on the driver's side and then when you hit the button that's going to try to pop it outwards and it'll recalibrate if that doesn't work then while it's in this position you want to push it inwards the same for the driver's side and then you're going to hit the button and then it's going to try to fold inwards because it's thinking that the mirror is out at this position and then it's going to fold inwards you'll hear a pop on this side and a pop on that side now that's how it'll recalibrate and if that doesn't work but i do not actually use this foldable mirror function is there's a wire here which controls the foldability now if you cut the white color wire hopefully i didn't stuff it up we'll soon find out if I cut the white wire, then that will stop the mirror from just folding by itself. You can't use your foldable mirror anymore, but you can actually put it to the location that you'd like, and that should stick. And you're going to look at the driver's side, it has folded, but the passenger side is still out. So that means by you cutting the white wire, you are actually stopping the foldable motor from actually working. So the home pin is stuck for me. Some moron actually walked straight into the mirror and broke some plastic bits here because when I pulled off the cover, I actually found some plastic bits right here. So now when I cut the wire, we're gonna see how that's gonna work, whether it does actually stop. What you can do is you can just push this one upwards and this one downwards. It's not touching anything. So you should be safe there. as you can see this is how you can actually stop your mirrors from folding by itself you don't need this power folding mirror so i don't park next to other vehicles very close so i don't even need that so you can see it stops folding by itself and the mirror function actually works and there you go guys that is the solution to it you can either recalibrate it and it should work or worst case scenario you can cut the white wire and problem solved you no longer have to be embarrassed in front of everybody all right guys so now what we're going to do is we're going to fit this mirror cover back in i did find a big huge spider in here so i've cleaned him out and now what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that this side clips in first if you don't clip this side in it's not going to clip back and then what you're going to do is you're going to slowly push the clips back in like so and you see this side needs to be pushed in first if not, the clip is going to just stick out and it's going to look ugly and you might lose your mirror cover. There you go, guys. The mirror is back and you can see it's fairly steady. This is a completely free fix for you guys. It costs you zero dollars. So make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I've got a lot of BMW and Toyota videos, car DIY videos and also car how to care for your car, including how to wash it, polish it, take care of it and all that great stuff. So make sure to stay tuned and subscribe.